Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be doing some organizing. So I'm going to be organizing my dream photo cards today. So if you're new to the channel, I collect all of Dream's album photo cards, but it's a little bit complex on the way I store them because I collect Hechan album PCs plus selfie PCs. So he has his own binder and then I store Jamin and Renjun together because they are in my bias line. So I collect a little bit more for them, just like random selfie cards here and there. And then for the other four members, I have them stored in this binder together. So they are in this A5 binder in four pocket pages together. So Mark, Jeno, Chen and Jisung. It fits really well and then for the comebacks that Mark didn't participate in, I put these fillers in his spot. And I really like the way it looked and just the size of this binder but they are quickly outgrowing it because they obviously have a lot of cards and this binder is not too big. But I was going to continue using this for a while, but then I decided to pick up collecting Mark album photo cards. So I was kind of considering the, the idea of taking his cards out of this binder, but then it would be really awkward with the four pocket. So I decided to just leave his dream cards in here and store his 127 and Super M cards together. And that's what I'm doing now. But then I found this new binder that kind of solved my situation. So this is what I decided to do. So here is the new binder. It's also from Beyond Yee which is the brand that makes these binders. So it's slightly bigger and definitely wider. There's no front pocket, but I think I might stick on my own like I did for my win-win collection. But basically the pages are like this, which I thought was really interesting. If you're familiar with my videos, I really like to buy different like binders and albums that store my cards in different ways just to try things out. So like I have albums that can store one photo card, two, three, four, and then this one can store six, which I thought was really interesting. So I really wanted to try it. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to store my Jeno, Chunla, and Jisun cards together because they would fit three perfectly. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to move all their cards into this binder. It has this elastic that goes around it, just like um, this one did here but I took this one off and I will probably take this one off too just because I don't like the way that it pushes this end together and it pushes the cards at the end together. So I'm just gonna remove that first. That's removed, I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this binder to show up for a while now because I really wanted to reorganize. So I bought three packs of pages. They don't come, this binder doesn't come with any pages. So I purchased three, just in case. I don't think I'll use them all. I think I'll take all the cards out and then put them away, but I'll probably fast forward through this part. Actually, I think I'll take out and store at the same time. <laughs> just so it's a little bit more interesting for you all to watch. At first it did um, bother me a little bit that for the pages where Mark wasn't present, there wasn't a card, but then I did the fillers and I liked how that looked, but this will be even better. Okay, so first row in, there is a bit of space on top right here, but it's the same as this too. This is really pretty because they all have dyed hair. Oh, this is gonna look so good. I was so excited when I saw that they um, released this new size. I'm actually just obsessed with buying like things to store photo cards in. I need to stop. Yay. Looks really nice. I like the length of it. I do wish that the pages were a bit better quality. The plastic does feel a bit cheap. Like this one is definitely better quality than this, these pages. Oh wow, the backs look so good. If I like this binder, I'm considering moving my headshot collection to one of these this size as well because that binder is also outgrowing itself. Definitely need more room there. Okay, 
next page we have all the empathy cards. I don't think I'll store hot sauce today either because I'm still missing one Chumla album card. So I'll probably film a separate video for that. Maybe after the repack comes out and I'll store it together. I literally haven't stored any cards yet. Here's the next page. I really like these six pocket pages. It works just really well for my situation. We go up. I'm really hoping that this um, new comeback, or I guess the repack, will be a fresh song like we go up. I liked We Young too, but I think they don't want to do concepts like that anymore. They're definitely a bit older now. But I think they could still definitely do a cute concept or like bubbly concept. I love that these cards can be on the same page together. So here is the We Go Up page. This is so pretty. Originally, I was considering doing the rest of Dream on here, so moving Jamin and Renjun out of their binder and doing six of them, except for Hechan, who stays in his own binder. But I thought this would be a better idea because it won't fill up as fast because I'm using just three members instead of six. Because if I did six, I was scared that it would fill up way too fast. I think either way would have looked really good, just with the six members, I like I said, I think it would have filled up too quickly. And I think it would be nice to put Mark's um, cards back with his other ones. Oh, the Geno card is nice too. I say this all the time, but Geno takes really good selfies. Here's this page. For we boom. I also really liked boom the concept in the song too. I think I'll store with the reload kinos so that the reload album cards can stay together. Here we have we boom kinos and reload kinos. Reload. Next, we have their fan sign cards here, but I think I'll leave them for now since technically they aren't album cards. I don't know if I will store them in here. We'll see. I might put the fan sign cards with these cards since after that we have resonance and I want to keep these together for sure. This is really pretty. I loved that they had like their own colors for this album. Here's this page. Next we are starting with Resonance. It seems like so long ago but wasn't. And then for the yearbook cards, it's going to be a little tricky because this album had three photo card sets. Well, I guess four, including the special yearbook, but I am definitely not going to buy those. I think I'll store them with the fan sign cards. a lot of fan sign cards this era but I will not be collecting them all. 
In fact, I don't even know why I purchased those ones and this set. But this set does match this part one comeback, so I guess I'll just leave it in here for now. Doesn't bug me too much in this collection. So I'll do their yearbooks there and then their fan sign. Just so I can have the kinos together on the next page. For hot sauce, I did buy two of their fan sign cards full set, so I will have Jeno Tomlanchi Sung, so maybe I'll put that on a page together and keep it in here since I keep these in here, but I won't be trying to purchase all of theirs. Ready? And next we have Kino cards, very pretty Kino set. I love that um, Jeno set matches, Chenla set matches, but Jisung just doesn't. <laughs> it would have been perfect if his also was in a similar setting. But he looks completely different. He's like cute in his de cute in his past. I almost said departure. Cute in his past version and his future version. He looks like darker with his makeup. This set is so nice. Sorry for the glare. Next, we have departure cards. I like this set a lot too. I probably will add a cover to that binder too, but I'll probably have to go get it custom printed because this size is a little unique. Just to match my other binders since I do the checkered print for most of my binders. Departure page. Oh, I'm so excited for the Polaroid cards in the repack. I wonder what they're going to look like. I liked that they gave us just like two photo cards in hot sauce since I typically don't really like cards with frames or borders too much but I like now that we just have so many cards all the time it's nice to see different things come out. Arrival page. It actually looks kind of full. <laughs> So it's a good thing I didn't decide to do all six of them in here. I think this is the last page for now until I decide to store hot sauce. Ugh, this Jason card. He's so cute. I will be restoring my mark cards but probably in a separate video because <laughs> this video is already really long. Okay, last page, kiddos. So this is what it looks like. I, like I said, I might put a pocket in the front so that I can display a card like this, but I haven't decided if I want to put it in the middle or more to the side yet. Let me know what you think about that. Here is the cards. I'll do a quick flip through. It is like a little bit flimsier since it is longer, but I really like the way they look together. The backs look 
amazing like this. I don't know why, but with this longer length, it gives me more of a trading card feel. Let me know what you all think of this. I know it's probably not everyone's style or taste, but I love the way this looks. Yeah, this is what it looks like when you hold it up like this. I'll probably make a cover soon whenever I have time, and then I'm going to keep looking at it for a few weeks to see if I like it enough to move my hitchhike collection into a binder like this. I will see. I also want to see what you all think too before I make a change like that. But I'm loving this so far. Yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me organize and just restoring my cards. I will be restoring my mark cards soon as well, so stay tuned for that video if you're interested. But thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you in the next video.